Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining us today on The King of Random. We recently had a video where we showed you how to build a full-size crossbow out of a piece of 2x4, some PVC, and some paracord. Well, today we want to take that project and scale it back just a little bit, or quite a bit. We want to make a similar arrow launching weapon, but something that can be done quickly, easily, and with very low cost materials. All we're going to need today is some ballpoint pens, some bamboo skewers, some rubber bands, and some tape. The pens I'm using I bought at Walmart and it was about $1 for a pack of 15 of them. In this case, the cheaper pens actually work in our benefit because they're usually easier to disassemble. As a first step, that's exactly what we're going to do, is we're going to take this pen apart. Remove the cap and using a pair of pliers, pull off the front and back of the pen. With the pens I'm using, the front actually can disassemble even farther into more pieces. The cap, the inner tube of ink, and the end piece we aren't going to need, so you can throw those away. We want to reattach this other end piece back where it was into the pen. To make sure it's permanent, let's also add just a tiny drop of super glue around the base. Now we need to grab a rubber band. If you can find one that's a little bit thicker, it will work better, although a normal rubber band will work just fine. We're going to want to attach our rubber band with a little bit of tension on it. So I have it currently looped around the bottom, and then I just want to stretch it out a little bit and mark off where I'm going to want to attach the rubber band. Now let's tear off a piece of pretty strong tape. Now this tape is a little bit wider than I need, so after tearing it off, I'm also going to tear it in half. This width is plenty. We want our rubber band to line up with the pen as we attach it. To help with that, if we cross the two sides over and wrap it around, it will help the rubber band lie flat against the pen as we tape it. Just wrap the tape, pulling it very tight down against both the rubber band and the body of the pen. Now this is going to have to hold even while the rubber band is stretched out quite a bit and that's why I specified that you should make sure you're using some good strong tape. If you just try this with scotch tape or masking tape, there's a good chance it will just tear or not have the strength to hold on. Now we can do a quick test. If we hold on to the tape or even the pen above it, we can stretch our rubber band out very far and it doesn't let go at all. This would already work, but to make it a little bit easier to hold on to, I'm going to start adding more tape at the top so I have somewhere to put my finger and thumb as I secure the pen. By using more tape at the top, I've made it wider and so it'll be easier to hold onto as I'm applying pressure by pulling back on the rubber band. Now just because we like things black and yellow, I'm gonna draw with my marker all over the blue part and turn it black. At this point we can load the bamboo skewer in from the front, push it down onto the rubber band a little bit, drop back, and fire. I'm going to try and give it like the very minimum amount of power and see how it goes. Flies through the air. Beautiful. That works pretty well, but these bamboo skewers aren't weighted at all, which means as they're flying through the air they have a tendency to start turning, so I'm just going to use a little bit of tape to add some weight to the tip of it. Hopefully that'll keep it pointed straight like a dart. We've got our launcher, we've got our dart. Let's take this outside and see how far it goes. All right, let's check out the range on our little sling launcher here. Pew! I think I managed to hit the wall. That's a good distance. One, two, seven and a half. So my shoes are almost exactly one foot long, which is convenient for measuring stuff. So that arrow just flew over 75 feet. Not bad. Let's try sending it back the other direction. Beautiful. Right back across the yard. Now I've got here a dart board. This is actually designed for darts with metal tips. We're going to see if our bamboo is hard enough to stab into this thing. Boom! Stab right in. Beautiful. I was so close to the bullseye too. Look at that. Right next to it. Yeah. Three, two, one. Works really well. All right, that is working great. So I'm gonna make a few more arrows, but I don't wanna just carry them around. So what I'm gonna try and do is make a sort of armband bandolier to hold my supply of arrows. So I can shoot one and then shoot several more without having to go pick up my first one. To make this bamboo bandolier, I have a strap of leather, a snap setting kit, 
a small assortment of Lego pieces, and some contact cement. The first step is going to be measuring this piece of leather to know where it will sit on my arm and where to cut it so that it will easily snap together. I want this to rest high up on my arm. It's not gonna be a wrist cuff. So I'm gonna wrap it around here and just mark on the leather where to cut. Just a little bit snug as well. All right, I know that I want my leather strap to line up with this point, so I'm just gonna add about an inch and a half after that, and that's where I'll cut my strap off. Now that I have my leather strap cut to the right length, I need to drill holes for our snap hardware to run through. With the first hole drilled, I'll now mark through that hole where I need to drill the hole on the other side. The kit comes with this nice little dome shaped piece so that as I attach the snap, I don't ruin the dome shape of the hardware. We'll take this half of the hardware and slide it over the post. With this tool, when we press it down into the post, it will cause it to curl outward and secure the snap down to the leather. There we go, now that's attached. It's not gonna come off, it's there forever. So now we need to attach the other side of the hardware into the other hole of the strap. All right, we have both sides of our snap hardware attached and it goes together great. Perfect. Let's see how that feels on my arm. Yeah, there we go. Nice and snug. Holds itself in place pretty well. Now we just need a method to attach our ammunition to that. Here's the plan of how we're going to attach our arrows to our little bandolier. We have these Lego plates and several of these little one by one hook shaped pieces. We'll attach two of these hook shaped pieces onto the plate. On the bamboo skewer package, it says that these skewers are 0.12 inches in diameter or three millimeters wide. That happens to be just about the perfect size to fit into Lego hooks. You can also see that it will still slide up and down a little bit. And so to get around that, I'm going to offset the angle of the hooks just a tiny bit so that they hold pressure on the sticks so they won't go anywhere. Now I've got three of these little plates and 12 of these little hooks. So I'm going to line them up so that it can hold six arrows at once. To ensure that when I pull the arrow off, it doesn't take the little hook pieces with them, I'm going to use a little drop of glue on each little hook to hold it onto the plate. There we have it, six little holster slots for our bamboo arrows. Now what I need to do is attach each of these Lego plates to the leather armband. For that, I'm going to be using our contact cement. Never use contact cement somewhere where you don't have good ventilation because it has a lot of really strong chemicals in it. It says on here it could cause respiratory tract, eye and skin irritation, harmful or fatal if swallowed. Don't eat glue, kids. Just make sure you've got lots of good ventilation. Now how contact cement works is you apply a very thin layer to both sides of what you're trying to adhere together and then you let it dry almost completely. It'll get to the point where it doesn't even really feel sticky if you were to touch it, but it sticks to itself very well at that point. So you paint it on, let it dry most of the way, and then you press the two sides together and they form a bond that doesn't come apart for anything. I'm just gonna use this pen to mark where I want to apply the glue on the leather. Also, just to make sure that the glue has enough to grip onto, I'm gonna rough it up with some sandpaper. Leather has a bit of a finish on it and the sandpaper just goes right through it. Spreading it around. Remember, you want a very thin layer if you're using contact cement. More does not make a stronger bond. And then I'm just going to paint the bottom of the Lego pieces as well. While that glue dries a little bit, let's make a few more arrows. All right, I think our contact cement is just the right level of dry. It's just the tiniest bit sticky if I touch it. So let's throw our Lego pieces on, see how well they feel secured. That's pretty good right there. Here we go, little bandolier armband. 
And now I have my launcher and I have all of my ammunition close at hand. Let's try a couple more shots at our target now. Apparently I'm not a very good shot yet. Oh, oh, that close, that close to a bullseye. Oh, that is like two millimeters off of the red circle, two. Ah. There you have it, an incredibly simple barbecue skewer arrow launcher that you can build out of a pen and a rubber band. It works really well, it's got great distance on it, and you can see it stabs right into this target that's designed to be used with metal tips. Be very careful of these. You don't want to shoot these at people or animals or anything that's particularly fragile because they have a fair bit of power and could do some serious damage. All in all, this little arrow launcher costs probably about $3 to make, and for just a little bit more, you can make yourself this cool armband bandolier that holds all of your ammunition right where you need it to use. I'm thinking it also might be possible if you built sort of a strap for the launcher itself, you might be able to have that on your wrist. Then you could have sort of a wrist crossbow setup. That could be pretty fun as well. Maybe we'll try that in the future. If you want to have some fun shooting some arrows, but you don't have the time or resources to build yourself one of the full-size crossbows, this is a great alternative. Thank you guys for joining us for this project today, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. At this point, we can load it. waiting for some scraping noises upstairs to stop. Now it's sticking to not just the glove, but the dried glue on the glove. Apparently the two glues are very compatible. What's up guys, Grant here. I'm just working behind the scenes on some important stuff. Keep supporting Nate, he's the man and he's bringing back all the DIY that you've been asking for.